Hey y'all, this is Lou Rayo, inside my window, inside my window, my friends. How's everyone doing? We have another review to do. You ready? Yeah, we're going to do another review, but this is going to be different. It's on the F. Bloomlin JU-2500 steam oven steam oven my friends that's right we're doing another review and this is going to be awesome but in order to get there let's waste no time i'm not doing an unboxing we're getting right into the knit and grit of this steam oven so let's do it let's do the ju-2500 steam oven All right, all right, all right, my friends. I can't tell you how excited I am. First of all, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you're getting through this craziness. I mean, you can't even get toilet paper and paper towels as of today. It's gone nuts again. But besides that, I'm sure some family members have been going through a lot. My prayers and... Our thoughts go out to all of you. I hope all is doing well. That being said, F. Bloomlin contacted me. Yeah, from the last video. And they said, hey, Lou. Yeah. Guess what? What? We have a brand new oven, JU-2500. Do you mind or, you be, or are you willing to... Uh, do another video, another review on our oven, on the new one. And I said, sure, why not? Let's do that. And what I like about this company, let me say this. I dealt with many companies before, and this company, customer service, top notch, top notch, unbelievable, really great. Communication wise, mm mm mm. A hundred percent. I really like this company. They do, they do, I mean, they have a great products. They really do. It just so happened that mm, the last oven, mm, it didn't go too well, but that's okay. That happens to other ovens and other products. That being said, I said, sure, why not? I'm not being paid by this. They said, please, please give an honest review. Good and bad. No problem. So they're not paying me, and I'm not being sponsored by them. They just wanted to know if I will volunteer and do a review on this new oven. Here we are. That being said, this I tested this out beforehand. While from the last oven, I did not. Remember, I said I'm going to unbox it, and we're just going to go right through it. And I have not tested that oven prior, right? Nah. This oven I did. I love this oven. I really do. First, it's compact. It's not large. It's not going to take up all your counter space. No, no, no. It's very, very, very small. In fact, allow me to give you the dimensions right away. Let's do that. Let's get that over with. And I really like this if you, I mean, I, look. Remember, remember I stated before that the manual is really clean and it's right to the point. It's not confusing. So they give you the dimensions and the model, once again, is JU-2500. It's 120 volt US. And the wattage, the input power is 1400. And the outer dimension is width wise from here to here is 19.8 inches. Depth wise from here 
to the back is 14.3 and the height the height is 13.8 now the cavity the cavity in this oven ah cavity width wise from here to here 13.4 inches width wise depth wise from the back to the front is 11.8 inches and height is 9 Point 9.1. Is that cool? That is the dimensions for this oven. Yes, it's a little tinny, but it's not too bad, really. It has it still has a nice solid solid feel to it. So it's not too bad. You don't have that tinny ring to this oven. Also, it has a double glass. As you can see, double glass. And the door is solid, very solid. Nice, nice insulation. The rubber is on the outer part from the oven. It's on the door. Keeps the moisture, keeps the steam within the oven. Pull on this, I could feel a nice tug. I mean, the hinges is credible, credible. You, you would have to be here and, and Play with the door in order to know what I'm talking about. Really well made. Really well made. Same thing with the inside. Nice, nice. Nice uh, stainless steel. But I'm going to show you something. This is really cool. When you're cleaning the oven, you notice that many, if not most, countertop convection, non-convection ovens with the heating elements, right? Follow me. Voila. Look at that baby. Voila. Ooh, baby. Ooh, can you do that with your countertop oven? Oh, I have something else to show you. There's a top heating element, and you're gonna see that in a second. Top heating element. Voila. Look at that baby. Ooh, look at that baby. Now I could clean the top of the oven as well like I can with the bottom oven. So they went an extra mile just for that detail of getting those two heating elements, the ability to move away from the bottom of the floor and the top of the wall on the top to clean. I, that's, that's incredible. I love that. It's just the thought process that these engineers had in mind. Just what is a small detail is a really big thing to us as a consumer. Now, that being said, this is their manual. Voila. Easy, easy. Here's our manual. Here's a manual. Tells you all about unpacking, what comes in the oven. Wow, yeah, baby, look at that. Just giving you, giving you a sample, the uh, settings. Very clean, very clean. And it's not a thick manual. You don't need a thick manual. You really don't. You have a cheat sheet gives you what each of the functions, the buttons, and we'll go through the buttons real quick. Not bad. What comes with the oven, very solid, super solid, awesome solid, solid rack. This comes with the oven. I wish they would include two racks but you only get one. You get a sponge. Ah, Lou, what's a sponge for? It's to soak up the excess steam, the reservoir, the water, all that good stuff when it's laying here to so just soak it up, soak it up. It does not have a drainage, so you use it. And let me tell you, very little. You get a glove, a mitt, it said two, I only got one, I don't know why, but it did say two. 
but I only got one. I'll, I'll get in touch with customer service on that. And your warranty, it's a one year full warranty. Then you have a steam pan. Let me say, this thing is solid. Solid, baby. Solid, stainless steel. Ooh, baby, solid. And then you have a baking pan. Yeah. You have a baking pan, you have a steam pan, you have the rack. The water tank right here. This baby goes in here. Just like that. Voila. Holds five cups. Five cups of water. Okay, so the weight is 25.6 pounds. 25, that's the side view. Just give you an idea. The back view. The cord. Aha. Uh -huh. Here. Steam. That's where the steam comes out. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Another side view. Hear that? Solid. Solid. And by the way, not much of a bulk popping out from the back. This oven is small in size, and that's okay, that's fine. It's, you can do, you can use the, uh, like these glass baking wares. Look at this, this is huge. I could do a lasagna in this. I can do a casserole in this. It's huge. Where this makes up from size is the steam function. Most countertop ovens do not have that steam function. In fact, Europe is known for countertop steam ovens. We had steam ovens at one point and it kind of faded away, but now it's coming back. And I believe after the coronavirus, this epidemic, you're going to see an increase of countertop, whether it's convection or non-convection steam ovens. They're coming back. And the reason why they're coming back, because steam countertop ovens does an unbelievable job. It's great at what it is designed to do. And that is to bake, to broil, especially your breads. Oh my, steam oven. We try to accomplish that by putting a pan, a frying pan, cast iron pan or regular baking pan, add water into to either of those, put it into a regular what? Household oven to create that steam in there. Well, we eliminated the heat, heating up the home, the electricity, and going through all that work to get steam coming from your oven by one of these. And this is great. What I love about the F Blooming and especially this one, the JU-2500, you have broil, bake, you have lower heat, steam, as we mentioned, tender voice, combi. Combi is almost like taking over the presets. It gives you a certain point of whether you want to use all the heating elements with the steam or just the steam, and you control that. Fermentation, ah, for your breads, for your dough. Defrost, descale, and it has a delay cooking time. So you can actually delay it and start whenever you need to. That's pretty cool. That's what I love about this oven. It, Size-wise, it all the features I just said makes it up. And it's really not that small. It really isn't. Now, a good size that will fit in this oven is a what? Uh, a chicken. Let's use a chicken. Six, maybe six and a half pounds. Maybe, maybe seven, depending on how plump that is. Now, just because it's seven pounds doesn't mean all chickens are all plump on the top. No, there. I've seen chickens where they're not fully, you know, raised up and they're more flat. So you can get away depending on the dimensions from the bottom to the top of that chicken. So what I like about this oven, and you're gonna see right here, it's the power button along with the function buttons are built into this glass. I like that, I really do. It's a game changer in comparison to their 
last oven that we did a review on where it was up here and I, I, I really didn't care for it. it. It was it was small, whatever. But that being said, it's big difference. I love this. It's a touch, power, boom, voila, you got power now. And allow me to show you this here is what they call a setting and temperature change. We're going to use this function when we uh, uh, decide to which uh, presets we want to pick from. Example, this here is for your top burning element. This here is for both the bottom, that is there and there, the top and bottom, Here is just for the bottom. Here you have steam only, steam and top burning element, combi, which means steam, top, bottom, defrost, I'm sorry, not defrost, fermentation, that is for your bread doughs. Here you have defrost. Then you also have, which I think is important, you have a safety feature. This safety feature is for to lock the controls here so to prevent any children from touching the glass um, by mistake, touching any of these functions on the glass by mistake, changing your settings or, or just getting themselves into little trouble, as well as for adults. <laughs> here, we also have, this is your delay cooking Let's go back up. This is your delay cooking. And then, and then the one above, the one above is descale as well. See, I have this beautiful, beautiful chicken, this bird. And ah, this is approximately about six, just almost six and a half pounds. And I did a dill. It's a lemon and pepper chicken. I made it simple. Nothing complicated, my friends. No, no complications. So I just added Italian uh, parsley, lemon inside, dill uh, with garlic and pepper and a little bit of salt and cover it with uh, lemon. My, my version of lemon and pepper. This is going to be awesome. And I'm going to cheat a little bit because I did, I'm definitely using a uh, oven thermometer. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. We're going to pull this baby out. Ah, where are you? I'm doing it backwards. Going to take the cover off just like this. Oh, yeah. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. This takes about five gallons of water. I'm gonna add five gallons of, five cups, not gallons. No, ah, what am I saying? Five cups. And you don't wanna go over the max whatsoever. No, you don't, you don't wanna do that. And they have an arrow that points th this side. Actually the arrows to tell you Slip it in this way, my friends. Slip it in. And let's preheat this oven and we'll come right back. Allow me to go ahead and place the ch chicken in here. And we're gonna slide this bird in, just like this. Go in and once, once this bird is cooked, we'll take it out. I'm not covering the top. Yes, recipes do call for that. And by the way, just so, so you know, this oven doesn't really get too hot. It gets hot, gets warm, but it's quiet. It is super quiet. What? I know. It's crazy. It's really, really quiet. And while this is going, before we come back, I want to let you guys know, you've got to go to their website because they also have recipes for this oven. Yeah. They got recipes. It's really cool. Some yummy stuff. It's not a whole lot, but they're going to build on it. Uh, they're going to, yeah, they're definitely going to build on it. But it's like almost like getting started. 
And it's really cool stuff, and it's in detail, and it's clear. It's not confusion, no confusion whatsoever. Ah, we don't want that. We'll come right back after this baby's cooked, and then we'll go to the next, and we'll cut the bird after we do a couple tests to make sure the bird is what? It's not still cooking when we take it out of the oven. Let it rest. Then we could cut it. We'll come back. All right, baby. We'll come right back. Right to right, my friends. We pulled the chicken out of this beautiful JU-2500. JU-2500. I don't know. I thought I saw something on the side moving around me. Ah! Look how beautiful this is. Oh, my, oh, my. Now, I purposely wanted the top to be cooked dark. I love that. I love when it's real dark. This oven did not do that on purpose. It did not. I did. Now, when you're cooking a chicken and you don't like it as dark as I do, go ahead and lay a little tin foil on top of this and cook with the tin foil halfway through and then remove the tin foil. And it won't be as dark as my preference, my taste, the way I like it. All right, all right, all right. We got the chicken on the side. Now we're gonna do the salmon. Look at how beautiful the salmon is. What I have here, I have um, honey and I, I did some curry. Oh, just a bunch of nice uh, basil, all dry herbs. And I also placed a bed of um, the salmon on top of the bed of uh, spinach. And we're gonna fully steam this. That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna steam this. We're gonna get these babies cooked and show you that this oven can cook. Just steaming, just steaming. So let's do that. I already got this thing preheated. Good, see? See the steam coming out? We're gonna place this in here, just like that. Voila! I have it on the last shelf because the pan is, uh, uh, you know, kind of big, so it's almost in the middle, technically. Let's close this, and we'll come back. We'll get this baby cooked, and we'll go from there. And. I'll show you what the salmon looks like. All right, baby, yeah. Let's get this salmon going. It's all done. It's gonna be nice and hot. Ooh, baby. Look how nice that salmon is. Ooh, baby. Gotta be gentle, because it's very tender. Very tender. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, baby. Yeah, yeah. Notice I cheated, I use a, well, I didn't cheat it, but meat thermometer. Now, look at that. Take the spinach, yum, yum, yum. Slate like that, oh yeah. Got some nice, the juices from the salmon. Allow me to have a little bite. I want to show you. Look how beautiful that is. Ooh, baby. Wonderful. Wonderful. Ah, so good. We're going to go ahead and cut that chicken, but why not accomplish two things at once? We're going to cut the chicken, and we're going to do my Tater tot test. And what I'm doing this time, I'm doing, again, top element, bottom element, and steam. And the reason why I'm doing steam, because I have done this once before, not with this oven, but with two other steam ovens. And it should come out crispy and nice and soft inside. So let's go ahead and we'll do that. If it does not, for some reason, and I'm gonna put it in the middle rack. And for some reason, if it does not, you know what I'm gonna do? We'll go ahead and we'll do it without steam. Because we must be fair with 
right? We must be fair. Okay. We're going to take this beautiful, beautiful chicken. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to plump it right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and we'll cut this baby. And while, while the uh, tater is going, and keep in mind, I'm doing this backwards once again in my review. Ah, look at that. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's, it's so tender. Look at the juice. Oh no, no, it's, it's escaping everywhere. Look at that. Oh baby, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at the juice. Look how juicy that is. Look at that. Don't worry. I won't give this to anybody. I touched it. I know. I'm going to eat it. So juicy. Mm mm mm. And look at the skin. Look how nice. All right, all right, all right, my friends. The tater tots are done. Let me go ahead. We're doing it backwards. Ah! We're doing it backwards, low. I know. Let me double this. It is hot. Hot, hot to trot. Pull the sucker out. Very good. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's hot. It's hot to try. It has that crispiness on the outside and yet tender as it should be. That's the way tater tots should be. Okay. And I have this chemical pizza. Ah! <laughs> You know me, chemical pizza. It is, it's chemicals, I'm sorry, it is. Okay, all right. We're gonna place this pizza in here, 400. They say convection oven, this is not a convection oven, whereby 400 will keep it, they require 20, 25 minutes. We will go ahead and we will do this, mm, I would say about 30 minutes maybe. 35, 40 minutes the most, because again, it's not convection. I'm going to use the steam on this one. Now I place this in here in the oven. I'm Come using back. the rack. Let's see how this pizza comes out, baby. Let's see. This is our final run. Oh yeah, our final run. We'll be right back. Let's see how this works. Oh, by the way, you notice I'm not screaming. No, I'm not screaming. It's, it's, it's hot, but it's not burning hot. Oh, if it's cold weather right now, baby, just put your hands on this oven. It's not hot, hot, hot. It's hot, but not hot, hot, hot. Not bad, huh? Not bad. We'll come right back. All right, all right, all right. We took out this pizza. Ho, ho, ho. Now, you must know that this is a thick pizza. It's not gonna be crispy and crunchy like medium to thin pizzas. It is a hot, uh, what do they call that? Uh, Self-rise thick crust. That's one to keep in mind. And all of this, all of this has been, uh, it's been cooked evenly, my friends evenly okay let's cut this baby mm-hmm and I did not by the way although I don't recommend what I did everyone else should do the same but I did not ah cutting it wrong pizza should be rotated at all times when you're cooking what? In any form or shape, oven, stone fire, brick ovens, all should be cooked halfway through one side and then turn the other side. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Look at this. Look at that. Beautiful. It is beautiful. Beautiful pizza. This oven did a great job. A fantastic job. Of this thing is beautiful, my friend. Look. Looky, looky, looky. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Well, my friends, this concludes our review on the Ep Bloom Lin JU-2500 steam, steam oven. Oh yeah, we did the chicken, we did the salmon, we did the pizza, we even did the tater tots. Yes, we did the tater tots, my friends. And I have no complaints. I really don't. First, let me say this. I'm not telling you this because they sent me in the oven to do a review. This is a true, honest review. And I really have no complaints. What would I change? Well, there will be a couple things. First of all, I would definitely change the rack in there. I think where it slips in, in here, it's not from front to back. There's a space and, and the pans do fall. That's one I would change, definitely. Uh, I, I just, when you put in a pan or take out a pan, especially if you have chicken, turkey, or whatever on that pan, right? And you take it out, it's gonna, and it's just not gonna, it's not gonna slide all the way out. It's gonna tilt if you don't handle that pan properly. So that is definitely a must. I would definitely change that. The other thing I would change is preheat. In this oven, you will have to wait at least five minutes. There is nothing on the dial that says preheating and ready when, it's, when the oven reaches that temperature. I would add that feature. That being said, you also have to think about this. It's not a convection oven. Now, they are convection steam ovens, and this is not the case with the JU2500 model. But as far as price, I did not mention that. It's only, you ready? It's only $299.99. That's right, $299, $300. But Lou, yeah, $300 is kind of steep for a non-convection countertop oven. Hmm, that depends. There are steam ovens that go up to $600. The competition is not out there. There's not many other brands that is competing with one another. So the prices are kind of steep, and I do agree with that. But on the other hand, this is actually pretty low in comparison to others. And remember, you're getting steam. That's the whole point of this oven. It is all about the steam, baby. You cannot get this chicken done, completed, without steam in your regular oven. Even if you put that pan in there, yes, it's going to help, in my opinion, it will not achieve that perfection of cooking while you're using a 100% steam oven. Big difference. And it is a big difference in texture and flavor. This oven does it. And I mean that, I really do. You just have to think about whether or not that $299 is going to fit your budget in comparison. It is less money than the Cuisinart I just did a review on. It's less money than this other non-convection oven that, I, that Amazon is selling right now. It's less money than another convection oven that I'm about to, um, well, I'm about to do. It's a steam oven. A lot less money. It's half of that. But the point is this oven, does all of this and much more. It 
bakes, it grills. I mean, you got fermentation. You can you can take your dough and and proof your dough in this oven. And you're doing it the right way. You got the steam to help rise that dough. It defrosts and it descales. What is descale? Well, descale is to clean out the reservoir in in here. It cleans it out. So you don't have to worry about that. It does it for you. As far as cleaning inside, I'm going to tell you, this is one of the best steam ovens I ever seen that they actually put energy in to for the racks to to move up and down so you can get to the top and the bottom of the floor. The top of the roof, the bottom of the floor to clean your oven. It's incredible. Uh, you have delayed cooking. It's combi. It does upper and lower heating elements with the steam. And uh, tender roast. It's all preset for you. Again, you could change all the timing on this too. You could change the heating elements that you can't do with a regular, ready? Whether it's convection or non-convection countertop oven. You cannot uh, change the heating elements on the top and on the bottom. You can do with this. You could put it at 350 on the top and put the bottom heating element at say 200, depending on what you're cooking if that's what it calls for. But you have control of those heating elements independently. So my friends, yes, I think it's worth, I think it's worth it. Would I own one? Absolutely. Would I go out and buy something else? Well, that depends, but I like this. I really do. And it's silent, it's not as hot, and space-wise, it's bigger than a Cuisinart as far as height-wise. You don't get the, um, the height that you do in this in comparison to Cuisinart. You just don't. And I'm talking about the Cuisinart steam oven that I did a review on. You don't get that. So overall, yeah, I would get this. This, you're not going to have time for Thanksgiving. And by the way, I didn't do a turkey. I was supposed to do a turkey in this, and I did it. Because why? Well, I mentioned earlier, paper towels and toiletries. I mean, you can't find them. Cleaning supplies. We're back in that same boat again as we were a few months ago. That being said, it's hard to find a small turkey so I can put in this oven. But a bird is a bird. So we did a beautiful job with the chicken. At least chicken was available. So you won't have this on time for Thanksgiving, but you will have it on time for the holidays as such as Christmas and New Year's. I would get it. I would do it. I would buy it. It's worth it. If I'm recommending it, absolutely. So my friends, I think this concludes everything today. We did a lot. I hope we did justice on this once again, like my other reviews. And if there's any improvements or whatever, or something that's missing or, or additional information, please put it in the comments. Um, I, I try my best to answer everybody as much as I can and, and subscribe. You got to subscribe. Yes, subscribe, my friends. Ah, uh, why are you leaving the door open? I don't know. I'm just doing it. So, my friends, please be safe. And, and I, I say this with full heart, my friends. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Not just this one, but the others. If you haven't, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Other than that, my friends, I leave you with peace, joy, and happiness in all that you do. Take care, my friends. This is Lou Rayo. Inside my window. Inside my window. Take care, my friends. Take care. What would I want? Ah, pizza. No. Tater tot. No. Chicken. Salmon. Ah. Ah. So many choices. No, no, no. I do have my J. U. Dash. 25. 100. Steam oven. Steam oven. Yeah, baby.
Yeah.